Hi, I'm Morgan Swan. I'm the Special Collections Education and Outreach Librarian here at Dartmouth Library. And one of the things we always say about Rauner is that you can just walk in off the street and say, show me something cool, and we'll find something cool for you to see. <clears throat> we may ask you what, that, what you think is cool, uh, but then we'll almost always find you something cool. Uh, today, I've got a couple of really cool things for you to see. Um, they both relate to uh, Abraham Lincoln, um, although one is a little uh, more local than the other. Um, so the first one um, I have is um, for you is this wonderful sheet of signatures. Uh, and these are signatures on um, a sheet of uh, stationery from the Executive Mansion in Washington. And it's dated December 20th. Uh, 1861 um, and what it is you have you have Abraham's Abraham Lincoln's signatures written uh, over and over um, originally probably was 21 times and there are only 19 left because some of them have been clipped um, but at the top it says I certify that the signatures written below are genuine John Hay um, and the John Hay was uh, the sort of like the body man or the um, the personal secretary uh, one of, of two for Lincoln he became very close to Lincoln, especially after Lincoln's son died and was um, at Lincoln's uh, bedside um, during the president's last hours after his assassination. Hay went on to be a major diplomat for the United States. He served under a number of presidents, um, uh, the last one being Theodore Roosevelt. So he had a long distinguished career as a statesman after getting his start um, with Abraham Lincoln. We've often wondered where this sheet of signatures came from. The catalog record says uh, that it was probably put together by Hay because uh, he was tired of getting requests for Abraham Lincoln's signature. Um, in, the, in the 19th century especially people were huge into autograph collecting. That was like a big thing and so you'd write people to say oh would you you know kindly uh, send me a letter um, and all they really wanted was your autograph so they could cut out and put an autograph album. Um, it's almost like, you know, like today, like Pokemon collection, their car, you know, or sticker collections or things like that. People had to get them all. Um, and so, um, and so we think that, that that's why we have this sheet. But often it, it's, it, it's hard to find um, even a letter or a single signature of a president. Um, and so it's kind of a thrill to have this just complete sheet of his signature um, to, and to know that he sat down at a table uh, or a desk in the White House soon after, not even a year after he had become president, um, and, and put, his, put his pen to paper 21 times to write his name out, which is really neat. Uh, the other item um, is not as, uh, uh, as exciting or as joyful, sadly. This is a, um, this is a poem that was uh, written on the occasion of his assassination, Abraham Lincoln's assassination. Um, and at the top it says, verses on the assassination of our late beloved Abraham Lincoln, or President Abraham Lincoln. Um, and this is on what's called a broadside, which is like a technical, like a library term, essentially for a poster. Uh, something that's printed, it's only printed on one side, it was often meant to just be stuck up on a wall or hung, you know, posted somewhere. Um, it was very ephemeral, it wasn't meant to last long. Um, this one is interesting because it's made, it was, it was, uh, the poem was written by um, someone named George Gordon Byron DeWolf, which is a very, very long and, and imposing name. Um, and it's, it, there's, there's, you know, George Gordon Lord Byron was, was, you know, the, the poet Byron. Uh, so there's obviously some family pressure there to become a great poet. Um, so he, I think he often went by just George. But so George was known as the wandering poet of New Hampshire. Um, he's actually Canadian. Uh, he was born in, I believe, 1835. But when he was 20, he moved down to, uh, to the New Hampshire area and lived in Nashua. Uh, and he wrote, um, this was pretty much like a business for him. He wrote all kinds of, of poems, uh, occasional poems. Um, he would go all over New Hampshire. He would write about assassinations and fires and, and you know, disasters. Um, but also write about um, the visits of great people to New Hampshire. He wrote about, I think, uh, President Grant visiting Nashua uh, at one point. Um, and so, you know, he, other, other documentation of, of, of his life, they, they say that he sometimes would refer himself as the steam machine poet, because um, he would just crank out the poems, and he got paid, I think, like a penny for every four syllables. Um, so, so, so the romantic notion of the, the New Hampshire wandering poet is, is sort of countered with this very sort of mercenary, 
<laughs> uh, commercial bench. Um, and I'll, I'll read you a stanza uh, just, just to give you a sense of what it, what, what it sounds like. Um, Surely, say the gathering people, this news cannot be true. Our kind chief assassinated, and the secretary too. And while thus they stood conversing, with their hearts to vengeance wed, came a last the dreadful, dreadful tidings that the president was dead. Right. So he actually published most of his poetry like this in this form as broadsides. We're lucky we have eight of them here. Um, we don't, unfortunately don't have the very last one that, that he wrote. Um, and he apparently, the, the, the legend goes, he wrote it posthumously um, through a spiritual medium named Miss Lily. So several years after he died, um, um, she channeled George so he could get one last good poem out. I don't know whether he got paid a penny for four syllables or not. Um, anyway, we have two things here on Abraham Lincoln. We have other things in the library as well um, related to Lincoln as well as to George Washington and other presidents. Um, my name is Morgan Swan. Like I said before, you're always welcome to just walk in and ask to see any of these items um, or anything else that strikes your fantasy. Thank you.